I think the key thing, though, is if you think about it through the last 18 months, uh, we had a period where, uh, you know, when, when the uh, COVID situation started to occur, occur we had massive uh, market faults, but also we had massive calls on cash and liquidity. Uh, in our case, uh, at the very peak, we had half a billion dollars of our members wanting to switch to cash, uh, unfortunately, right at the bottom of the market. Uh, but on top of that, we then had um, a, a new uh, support mechanism for our members through early release, which uh, had unknown consequences in terms of how much money you needed to set aside. So in that environment, we had one uh, demand, which is making sure that we were able to meet the obligations that we um, you know, we have with our members. Uh, but on, on, on the flip side, we had this incredible investing opportunity. Uh, now, knowing when to invest uh, and how much of what is, you know, at that time was considered a fairly scarce asset, which is cash and liquidity, was really, uh, you know, a big part of the challenge. And so for us, it was really, you know, being on top of all those dynamics and having the courage to say, look, we've, we're very comfortable that we can satisfy our members' requirements and the opportunities are there. Let's go for, you know, the best uh, sort of investment opportunities, uh, you know, the types of high-quality companies where prices are low because of this current environment, but we believe that they have a very long-term uh, positive outlook. And so for us, that was sort of the key, key uh, aspect of it. And then on top of that, active management, uh, again this year uh, was a significant contributor uh, and it was it was it was the reversal a lot of what happened last year last year it was the tech stocks and all the things that would um, do well in a, in a sort of a lockdown environment this year it was a rotation around those tech stocks and yield type of stocks into those that are uh, benefited from um, you know the opening up of the economy the vaccine rollout and so forth and and again um, getting into those stocks after the event it's too late so actually having the courage to you know to invest in them uh, before that occurred was really important